With all of the very, very exciting things happening in Doctor Who, a lot of us can forget that fan favourite Catherine Tate, aka Donna Noble, is back in Doctor Who. They'll be alongside David Tennant for three specials this November. But if she remembers the Doctor, then her head will explode and melt and do all kinds of horrible things, right? Right? So the question is, how is Donna back in Doctor Who? Alrighty everyone, here's a history lesson. Donna gained the Doctor's knowledge in the series 4 finale and used it to stop Davros. The Doctor then wiped Donna's memory to save her from burning up due to this knowledge. But we had the best of times. Donna reappeared in the end of time and her memories are nearly restored. A failsafe installed by the Doctor protects Donna from her restored memories. Donna marries Sean Temple and the Doctor anonymously delivers a winning lottery ticket to ensure her financial future. The Doctor hopes that he never runs into Donna again to save her from burning up due to the restored memories. But we know for a fact that in the 60th, uh, the Doctor and Donna, they meet up again. We, we know that for a fact. That is 100% going to happen. You know, I don't know much about the 60th, but I know that's going to happen. So I guess I have three questions. One, how is Donna back? Two, why is Donna back? And three, how much did she win from that lottery ticket? I, I would love to know. <laughs> ha 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 ha. And if you like funny stuff like that, then please like and subscribe to this channel. We're trying to reach a million billion subscribers. So if you could do that, that'd be great. In regards to how was Donna back? Well, I guess like in real life, David Tennant, Russell T Davis and Catherine Tate, they're all in this little group text thing. And they're all joking one day. I think it was during the 2020 lockdowns. They're like, oh gosh, wouldn't it be fun to, you know, give it another go. And now here we are. So I've got, I've got a clip of that somewhere of David Tennant explaining that. It all slightly happened a little bit by accident. Russell T Davis and Catherine Tate and I were just sort of having a kind of text exchange and Catherine said wouldn't it be fun to do it again Russell said well, we could do a one-off maybe they'd let us and we said yeah wouldn't that be a laugh and then it all went quiet and then suddenly Russell let us know that he was taking over the show again and uh, would we come and play a little bit for him so I don't know if we gave him the idea to take Doctor Who back but certainly we thought if he's doing it, we're gonna come along for a minute. So Russell pretty much got the green light from these two A-list actors and they were like, Fuck it, let's make three 60th anniversaries and Fuck it, let's make David Tennant the 14th Doctor. I know these teeth. But working David Tennant back into the narrative doesn't seem that far-fetched as there have been things established that, you know, the Doctor could revisit an old face. I never forget a face. I know you don't. And in years to come, you might find yourself revisiting a few, but just the old favourites. Or, you know, take a face or something like that. Take a face? What do I mean by that? I don't know. The Peter Capaldi. You know what I mean by Peter Capaldi? It's like I'm trying to tell myself something. I think I know what I'm trying to say. I know where I got this face and I know what it's for. That, that whole thing. What I'm trying to say is David Tennant being back doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me is that Donna is back. How did they do that? What? What? Who are you? Where am I? What? Because I think weaving Donna back into the narrative is a much harder task. Because she'll have to be cured of her condition, right? Right? Well, let's see what happens. So how is this happening? Look, I mean, we've all had many a theory. I've seen the theory that, you know, Donna would be considered a Time Lord now, and maybe that's helping. Unlikely. I've seen the theory that this whole story takes place in a parallel world. Also unlikely. I've seen theories that, oh, this episode's just set in the past. I don't think that's the case at all. It honestly depends with how Russell wants to go about this. And we know that they will be directly addressing, you know, Donna's memory issue in the 60th, because it's in the trailer. If she ever remembers me, she will die. Wow, David Tennant really does look good in those glasses, doesn't he? So the answer could be as simple as, oh, you know, it's been 15 years since the Doctor and Donna have been together, and in that time, you know, Donna has just cured, naturally, you know, 15 years, that's all it took. It would be a bit of an anti-climax, I will admit, but that is a running theory. But what I think is gonna happen is that we'll spend the first episode with these two characters reintroducing themselves. We'll spend a lot of time with David Tennant at the start and then beep the meat rocks up and causes that whole problem. Monsters. Yasmin Finney's Rose gets involved somehow and the Doctor goes to help them without realising that Rose is in fact Donna and Sean's daughter. We can kind of piece that together from the 60th trailer. And I reckon the room at the end with that whole beep the meat scene... <laughs> 
is actually Rose's room, like in the Temple Noble household. Anyway, there's a lot of panic and the Doctor and Donna are trying to avoid each other. Well, the Doctor's mainly trying to avoid Donna. You need mine! He's not there! You can't see him! And the rest of the episode is spent saving the day from Beep the Meep and those other alien dudes. I think the whole Beep the Meep thing will be the A storyline for the first episode, The Star Beast, but the B storyline in that, I think it will be Donna curing her memories somehow. Sometimes I think there's something missing. Like I had something lovely and it's gone. Somehow, I think that will get resolved by special one. So I think that episode one somehow, you know, during that adventure, there will be a cure somehow. You know, maybe it's something on the Beep the Meep ship that has something to do with memory restoration or something like that. It might be a cop out. I don't know. I'm not a writer yet, but I want to be showrunner. But I honestly think it could be some sci-fi nonsense within the episode and then Donna's cured like that. So nine months ago, I posted to my channel a video around a similar topic, but we knew a lot less back then, but there were some comments that were surprisingly good and, and you know, they got me thinking. So let's have a look. Donna was part Time Lord. She had a baby, passed that part of herself onto the baby, and now her daughter Rose is naturally part Time Lord and Donna is free to remember. Rose isn't the new companion, but rather the doctor's call back into the lives of the nobles when he senses a new Time Lord. That's my theory. Damn, Gareth, that is a really, really cool theory. That's way better than the the stuff I was spouting out this video, that is really, really cool. That's a much better explanation than, you know, a memory thing on Beep the Meep ship, gosh. But that's really, really cool. And maybe like Rose will be a recurring character throughout Shooty's run and maybe, you know, we'll explore some Time Lord abilities there. You know, maybe Rose will have the ability to heal themselves. I don't know. Here's another unbuilt element of a theory. Donna still doesn't actually remember, but she sort of has a nostalgic feeling when she sees him or something. And while she's not allowed to remember, she's allowed to experience some things again and maybe maybe even to know that there's something to remember. Wow, that would be crazy. That would be crazy if throughout all of these episodes that this is kind of just like a reintroduction for Donna into this world. You know, she just feels nostalgic about the whole thing, but she doesn't actually remember her adventures with the 10th Doctor. That is also a possibility. Very, very good. Very, very good. But yeah, those are just some theories. Let me know your thoughts down below. How is Donna back in Doctor Who? Can you explain the whole memory thing? Why do you think she's back in Doctor Who? Is there a bigger thing at play here. Please let me know your thoughts down below. And that's going to do it for today. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. As I said, we're trying to reach a billion million subscribers. And also thank you very much to Joey for editing this video. If you haven't seen Joey's work on YouTube before, my goodness, what are you doing? So please go and subscribe to Joey and I really appreciate you helping us out today. All right, that's going to do it. Please like, please subscribe and I'll see you later. Alonzo!